yesterday we did some Google searching on, you know, what, what to do for bunny. And we also reached out to our bunny mentor in Michigan and, um, she's the one that suggested soaking her in the tub, um, for a while. Um, there it wasn't sound like they're not solid like we didn't get any solid answers some said oh you need to take the kits away because you don't want if it's a certain type of bacteria you don't want the kids to get it because it could kill them and there were actually pictures of of that like have like the kids getting sores and that had us all worried and um you know there's different like home remedies like you know g giving the fresh herbs like oregano and peppermint and but she's not eating and um i still want to explore massaging the area with um oregano oil or peppermint oil or tea tree oil something that's good for its antifungal antibacterial type um and see if that helps um but i'm also hesitant because then if the kids nurse on it it wouldn't hurt them but um i don't want it to also like make them not want to nurse anyway so then we said okay we need to get like penicillin or something and we have several options we have tractor supply and we have a couple local stores <clears throat> farm and feed stores and so i went to the local one and i just said what do you have anything? And the lady, just, she's like, if it was a cow or a horse, I would know exactly what, you know, to give you and how to help it. But she didn't know about bunnies. So she recommended two vets in the area. And we've talked in the past, like, you know, rabbits, they're not expensive animals to, to obtain. And they're very, they are very sensitive creatures. And we had we had a sick bunny in the past that we opted to not take to the vet. She was sick when we got her shortly after. But we decided with Evie Bunny to take her because she is, is only a year and a half. She is our best mama. She's our calmest bunny. She's our most um, gentle with the kids. And she produces the biggest litters. And so we thought it's worth it. We didn't know what it would cost if we there was some concern there um but we said you know what let's at least try it and we're very glad we did it was ended up being extremely less expensive than we anticipated i think it for the visit the exam and the two different well three different medications two shots it was 73 dollars so for us that was worth it especially if it does help her and we're able to keep her for a little longer um or a while longer those factors alone and then later last night I was thinking if I mean we don't know what's going to happen yet with everybody but our kids have gone through a lot of changes hard changes in the last few months and losing one of our pet rabbits even though she is used for breeding meat um this just would have been one more hard thing for our kids to handle so we didn't want to add to that by any means. And so we opted to do the vet route. And I don't know if we would do that with a, with another mama bunny or not, but that's what we opted to this time. We'll say she is drinking water, even in the tub. She gets her nose in there and drinks water. She is drinking water out in her cage. So at least she's staying hydrated, but there's still the concern that she's not eating. So we'll keep you posted on Evie Bunny and have a great day. All right, we got Evie Bunny out of the tub. She had a good long soak and we brought her babies in to see if she'd let them nurse. And so far, some of them are. Is the little one on the other side? Yeah. yeah. And the big little, the big pink one that is by the this little one. Fine. And it looks like the little one has poop on it that's stuck. It's okay. But. We tried offering her some oats which is another treat that she loves, and she didn't eat that either. Yeah, which is very odd. Which is very odd. Why is that? This is your mama moving, you know what? Okay, some of them were on that side, and then I can see their head right here, but they're sleeping. She said she'd look in the towel where it went. Where she was drying off at.
Well, they also can go on the other side. <laughs> What's funny, Ian? Would you get the other one? You see her booty? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they get their mama milk safe. They scooch under and lay on their back. The little one's going to town. Nope, nope, let it be. They're trying to get mama no, milk. Oh, oh, no, I'm on, on the floor. It's okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. Look at, she's scooching in. Here he gets scooching in. We don't know if it's a girl or a boy yet. This one, I think. Get mama milk. Get mama milk. Yeah, they're getting mama milk right now. I'm pretty sure this is the same. Can all of them get mama milk? Yeah. Okay. Just bump, bump the babies off. Well, the little one's going to Ian, 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 let it be. Thank what? you. Hands off. We're just watching. Oh, put it on the floor. Put it on the floor. Well, my mom's sleeping in there, trying to get Mama, which yeah. one's Mama? Mm -hmm. that, that one is on the floor. Oh, really? No. This one's on the floor. It's eating on the floor. Whoops. Baby, you're not old enough. Wipe that mouth off. 